to do well today as well, flying away in trade, really maximizing returns. <laughs> For the lack of a better word, yes. <laughs> but um, uh, but uh, yes, the brokerages seem to be uh, largely positive on the deal, but there have been some downgrades which have come in for Max Financial. So, for example, I'll start with Credit Suisse, who said that the key benefit would be access to two of the largest bank assurance platforms. Cost synergies are likely to be material. Valuations are 3.3 times FI16 estimated EV provides little upside, according to them. DB at current valuations most of the merger benefits are already priced in according to them and they've downgraded Max Financial Services to hold. Macquarie, they maintain a neutral on HDFC. HDFC life valuation is still unknown. They expect incremental value creation only on realization of synergies on this potential merger in context of dilution. Lastly, CLSA values HDFC life at $5 billion, Max life at $2.3 billion based on FI18 forecast. This implies um, 168 rupees share value for HDFC and 82 for Max Life, which would lead to a possible share swap of one is to two, so one share of HDFC for every two shares of Max Life. Um, the other stock which should come up for you is Axis, which is in fact down in today's trading session. Remember that they hold stake in Max Financial Services and they are the bank assurance partner, which uh, comprises of around 58% of uh, Max Life's uh, distribution. So it's possible that it is down because maybe uh, their retail banking fee income could get impacted. We have details of as of FI15 where retail fees formed around 38% of their total fee income and hence maybe this could be a possible negative for them going forward because there would be another bank assurance partner which would come into the fray now. Okay, Ekta, thanks so much for putting that in perspective.